What's going on soldiers? This is Sergeant Merrill and I have a lot going on in this video for you guys. One, I have an outstanding 60 and 4 M14 gameplay for you guys and despite how terrible the other team was in this game, I really think you're going to enjoy it. And two, I have a track from one of my battle buddies in the service, Joey Sparks, that I think you hip-hop fans are truly going to enjoy. And three, before we get into any of this, you guys asked for it, so I have one last exclusive clip from the Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which premieres tomorrow, August 5th. So here it is. All right, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I can't share any more with you guys. It's going to be a great movie. The CGI is top notch. It has some of my favorite actors. And if you guys want to go ahead and get tickets ahead of time and support my channel at the same time, I put a link for that in the description. But moving on to the gameplay that we have here, I have a newfound love <laughs> and a newfound hate for the M14, which, uh, which can be an outstanding weapon if you have a couple of things going for you. Uh, one, your aim needs to be on point. One of the great things about an automatic weapon is that it's uh, it's forgiving. And if your your aiming isn't perfect, you can kind of drag your reticle across the enemy profile and get your kill. I'm sure a lot of you do that. You end up shooting to the left and you just drag it up you know, to the right. And with a good automatic weapon, you can get your kill in that manner. The M14 is not so forgiving. So I keep this class for those days that I'm just, I'm feeling in the zone. Because when you are, it's absolutely vicious. <laughs> and here you see I'm also using extended mags with it because I found that I am able to uh, hold down a line of sight for much, much longer without having to reload. With 30 rounds <laughs> and the possibility of two-shotting people even at a distance, you know, you could lock an area down against four or five people without having to reload. And that's awesome. Now I'm still experimenting with the attachments, but this is one of my favorites so far. Now another thing you need to have going for you is a great connection because in this game I was host and that made all the difference. Your shots need to count with this weapon and you just can't be bothered with bad hit detection. It's just not gonna work out for you. So if you're rocking a two or three bar, I wouldn't even bother with it. Save it for when you're the host or you have a four bar with a good host. Now, you also may be wondering why I'm using Lightweight. I know Sleight of Hand Marathon is kind of a given. It's one of those favorites. I cannot believe I got that kill. <laughs> but I use Lightweight, uh, especially on this map, because, you know, you got to get around, you got to get around quick. And um, with Lightweight, I really love the, the freedom that it allows you, so that when you're running around and you jump out of the building, you don't need to worry that, you know, when you get in a confrontation, you're not going to have that extra shot that you can take. Uh, because of the damage that that fall gave you. It gives me that freedom. So I, I love it. Even if I'm rolling around with an assault rifle where it's not the best type of weapon to use it with, uh, I'm just kind of addicted to lightweight, much like I'm addicted to marathon. But uh, that's all the uh, the advice I have as far as this gameplay. M14 is a great weapon. As you see, the hip fire is just vicious. It's two shot. So if you're on point with your hip fire as well, it, it's really a good close range weapon also. But moving on. I try to do a lot of things on my channel. I try to mix it up. I don't want to be just about, you know, giving life stories and advice. Uh, I know my last video did truly very well, and that's what a lot of you like to hear from me. But I think if it's one of those things that I do too often, it kind of devalues it when I do do it. So what I have here today for you guys is a song from one of my battle buddies back when I was in the Army. And his name is Joey Sparks. And... <laughs> he really helped me get through a lot of uh, a lot of tough times when I was in the military, and uh, he was actually one of the reasons that uh, I met my wife because he always encouraged me to 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 go out and have a good time no matter where we were. In fact, I met Joey Sparks uh, in the barracks because he had thrown a party, and this was a three-story barracks, and he had built a beer bong that went from the third story all the way down to the ground. And he was standing up there at the third story with a bunch of beer. And for the people that he didn't like that were doing the beer bong, he was pouring Bacardi 151 down the, 
down the hatch as well. Uh, so he's a real funny guy, and um, he's actually doing a lot of R&B music lately because it's his hobby. And I want to show him that you know this is something that people would really enjoy if he if he put it out there. So guys, if you enjoy this, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to show him this, uh, show him some support. He has a couple tracks on iTunes that I, I'd love for you to check out and support as well. But without further ado, this is Get It by Joey Sparks. <laughs> Looking like a bag of gristle You pack a pistol I'm a human It's time to miss The blast you got your 80s Keep it like a yeast Sing it one more time Get down. Get down. Get down. 